Okay, you can find all the great smart board resources in Smart Notebook. Okay, and inside Smart Notebook, let's just make a blank page to work with. There we go. You can find in the gallery all sorts of resources based on subject here. You can also search the gallery items, but let's take a look under map. And let's take a look at interactive. So here, um, actually that's not the one I want. Let's take a look. We have all sorts of measurement, balance scales, a calculator. Actually, we'll show the calculator. Three times nine equals twenty-seven. Okay, so that's how that one works. You can import that into any smart notebook file. There's a clock. There are so many resources in here. What's this one? I've never seen this one before. Understand how to locate points in a two-dimensional plane. You encounter an enemy sub... Mm. Okay, so this looks like a little interactive game almost. Ah, so I have to... Enter in the coordinates of that toy. Oh, I enter in the coordinates of a bomb. I see. <laughs> That's kind of cute. Okay, and we will delete that or not. Let's delete. Delete this object. And this is just simply here. One. So this, sorry, I just had to allow that little plug in. You might have to do the same thing on your teaching notebook. You just press one. It, press it to hear the word, the number. So if you wanted to put that into a smart notebook file, you can. I'll start from here. Oh my. Oh, here's some, oops. What happened to my dice? Here we go. Bring in a dice. And you want to roll it. You can do that. You can roll it again. And it gives you a virtual dice you can use if you don't have any around. There are all sorts of fun things in here. So there's also separated based on strand up here. So let's take a look at patterns and relations. We could look at algebra, look at pictures, and under the pictures for algebra, there are algebra tiles. So if you wanted to use algebra tiles for something, there's an X tile, there's an X squared tile. And there's a one tile, and you could bring, and if I wanted to make a pile of these so that I could use as many as I needed to, I can go infinite cloner. So you hit the little button there, hit infinite cloner now, 
I can make, take as many of these off the pile as I want, and it just gives me as many as I need. So if I need a whole bunch of them to show a relation, then I can do that. So I could do the same thing with this here, infinite cloner, and I have a whole bunch of them again. So I could organize my algebraic equation. And it's got tangrams. Let's take a look at all the pictures of the tangrams. There we go. There they all that are there. There's the full set. It's the Venn diagrams. I've never seen this before either. Ah, so you can get circles for your Venn diagram. Let's see what happens when I bring it in. There we go. Circle. I like it. If I wanted a bunch of circles, I could do that. Infinite cloner again if I wanted to, or just clone it once. There we go. If I clone it once, I just have another one. And there we go. There's my Venn diagram. And I think I'll extend the page here. There we go. So I got some more room. Let's see. Is there anything else? Let's take a look at geography. And maybe we'll go to pictures for geography. There's all sorts of different exactly what part of it is you want. Hmm. Anyways, I could use those backgrounds. What else is there in here? Well, a couple other things that you can do in Smart Notebook that you may or may not know is one is the blind function. So if I put the blind on, it hides it. So if I had a question here, question at the top, I could bring it down and say we're going to fill out this Venn diagram or where would you put these objects and then I could after that part move this down further to reveal the response or the answers or the options. Um, you can do it sideways as well. And if I want the curtain or the blind to disappear I just click on that again and it's gone. I have my pen tools that you probably, oops those are my star my pen tools, I can write, I have my eraser tool, 